Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I am here today with a, another wig review. Um, today I am reviewing uh, this beautiful unit. This is a unit that is by Isis. Uh, this is a soft Swiss lace brown sugar. This is a human hair style mix lace front unit and this is of course in the style bs215 which i just said and the color that i have here is om lavender as you can see she comes in all of these different colors sorry for the glare um but this is the one that i am wearing right now it's the one that this young lady has on and again this color is om lavender okay if you just want to get this up oh also they have some uh, tape which I never use that comes with this unit you can also use tape with this unit if you yeah. just talk a little bit about this unit all right I thought this unit was really really cute when I saw it online I was like oh my god I really like that color you know you know how I am about my colors so I was like okay I gotta I gotta pick this unit up so I really love the color it's a little strange though, so let me just kind of show you. All right, if you can see right here, it has like this uh, dark, it looks like it appears to be like a, um, a 1B and then it goes down to this purple. Then it has like the purple like right here in the front area. And then it's purple right here. It's a little bit of a dark root. And then it has like, you know, this, uh, purple that kind of goes back I, I mean it's not weird but I don't know it's just a little weird I don't know the kind of the way they colored it just seems like the purple should be a little bit further up here not so much black right there I don't know I just I didn't like the color technique that they did on that because I think it looks a little bit choppy so that was my one thing I was not really feeling about this uh, what else this unit is very very thin it's very thin okay so you are definitely going to need one of these this is a teasing comb you can get this teasing comb at any beauty supply store this is what i use i use the teasing comb i just back comb it like this to kind of give it a little bit more body i wanted to make it messy because it's very very thin I want to show you really quickly again on the stock card as you can see how the ladies have here this is how the wig comes it really doesn't have much layers in it so I had to um, I had to put some layers in it so I took one of these uh, combs this is a comb that has a razor it's a razor comb you can use this to layer your units you can also use it to cut your units okay so I used this part right here not the short part, because this will give you more of a blunt cut. I used this part right here, and I started just going like this to kind of give it um, a little bit more of a layering effect. As you can see, I made some shorter pieces in here. I didn't want to go crazy and just like hack it all off because then it wouldn't blend right. It would just look weird. You know, I'd have all these uh, purple pieces right up in here, and then, you know, I'd, I'd get rid of the lavender part, which is on the end. As, as you can see, it has this this lavender that is on the end. So I didn't want to go crazy and, you know, cut too much. I just wanted to layer it a little bit. And I wanted to tease it because it has these really beautiful beach waves in the unit. As you can see, it has these really beautiful beach waves. So I just wanted to tease it a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to add some mousse to it. I didn't add any mousse to it. I just tease a little bit. I put a little bit of hairspray in it. Um, that's pretty much so all that I did. I didn't really you know manipulate this part too much up here I am gonna show you the inside of the capsule let me show you a little clip of that As you right can now. see she has some really good parting space and see this is what I was talking about I made a mistake and I screwed it up and I um, was trying to tweeze the part just a bit and I ripped the uh, lace actually with a uh, with my teeth with my tweezers so if you're going to try to manipulate this part I suggest you be extremely careful because you will make the mistake that I did but hopefully you know it'll be all right I'm not worried about it at least it's not towards the front so anyway let me show you the inside of the cap um so she has let's see 
three combs in the front. So she has really good combs. And the placement of the combs, you can see you have one here, you have one over here towards the uh, top part, and you have one over here on the other side. I put a little bit of powder here to try to make it look a little bit more natural. As you can see that tear right there. Be careful with these soft lace unit guys. Learn from my mistakes, I'm telling you, because if you try to rip it and do all that plucking and tweezing, you're going to rip the lace and then you're not going to be very happy. Okay, so here's the back. This just has the regular um, wefting here in the back and then it also has a comb. So this is the inside of the cap. I really, really like this unit a lot. It has some really, really good parting space and the lace on it is absolutely soft and it, it actually blends in so much better with your hair. You know, I think it's a cute unit if you want to try a little bit of color without going, you know, too crazy. You know, you can get the the lavender color. It's just a little unusual. So that much I will say that I really like about this unit is that it does have like, it's a little bit of a different kind of effect. I'm going to show you the unit in a minute. Um, what else? I purchased this unit from Wigs Type, and I love Wigs Type because they're here in New York. I get my unit like the next day. It's like crazy. Um, and this is just with regular, you know, standard shipping. Um, so I got the unit like the next day. I didn't, you know, pay extra. I just, I got enough so that I get the free shipping and I got it the next day. So that's really good. The other thing that I wanted to mention too is that I noticed um, she does tangle somewhat so you're gonna have to be uh you know just keep that in mind like i said I, I don't want to like you know do too much too much uh teasing with this because i noticed she will kind of she is kind of tangling a little bit which is to be expected but it's really not that bad um the other thing is too i'm not getting um that much shedding on this this is a really nice unit it's really nice but just be careful with that parting space, guys, because I know a lot of people like to go and tweeze it. You could tweeze definitely with um, the harder lace units, you know, doing the pull method and, you know, plucking and all of that kind of stuff and taking the tweezers and pulling some of the hairs. I kind of prefer to do the tweezer method. But um, if you try to do that on this one, you got to be very, very careful because the lace is extremely delicate and you will do like I did and effed it up. But... Um, I think I'll be able to pretty much so, you know, I'll be able to get away with wearing it. It's not that bad. And again, it's a synthetic unit. If this had been like an extra super expensive like human hair unit that was like, um, you know, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, I would have been pissed. <laughs> but um, now she she is very delicate in the lace area. So just a warning, a caution. Do not use tweezers on it if you do do not do the pull method at all because it will rip it but if you are going to use tweezers make sure that you do very little at a time and be very very careful that you don't grab the lace like I did with the tweezer and ripped it so just a warning this is supposed to be some kind of like human hair mix you know she doesn't really have that much of a shine as you can see like from the lighting again um, it's it's a really nice wig. I, I really like this unit a lot. I think it's cute. Um, I'm just kind of not really feeling this part. So I think what I'm going to do is probably like kind of style it a bit. I think I'm going to bump this going back like that with like my um, curling iron. Or just like take like a, a, a rod, a curling rod and just stick it in there and trying to like get it to like stay so it'll kind of flip it because this part is kind of annoying me um this part is okay because it's just regular bangs you know you're not going to really be able to do too much I mean I could flip it back that way but it's it's going to look weird so I don't even bother with that but other than that it's probably like the only mod I might make to this unit this is what she looks like from the front uh you know I'm 5'2 I'm really short so she I would say she's about 26 inches I am wearing her the correct way because I know you guys know sometimes how I like to wear my middle parts. This one, it does not look good with the middle part because this part right here is too thin and it doesn't even out with this part so it doesn't look good. So, I mean, unless you can kind of manipulate it some kind of way and cut this side a little bit more, I'm not going through all of that. 
I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Okay, because the middle part with this unit is like whack. I would not do it. Um, so I just kept it like this because I really did want to put her in the middle part because I think it would look fabulous. But anyway, so like I said, she's about 26 inches. So this is the front. This is the side. And this is the back. She has some really, really beautiful, 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 beautiful um, waves in her. It's like these beach waves, really pretty. And this is the other side. I like her. I think she's really, really cute. Like I said, as you can see, I would say the density on her is probably like about maybe 110, 120. She's really thin. See? She's thin to me. So um, just, you know, keep that in mind if you do decide to purchase this unit. Um, she is a little bit on the thin side. I mean, she's not that thin, but, you know, she is a little bit thin. All right, guys. So what do you guys think about this unit? I think that she is really cute. I probably, you know, I might purchase it in another color. I don't know yet. I might get this in another one of these same color right here, this Owen Lavender. I don't know. I, I like her though. I have so many other units. I don't know if I'll ever get to wear them all. But um, anyway, so what do you guys think? Please leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you cannot find it in this color on wigs type, if they, you know, for some reason sold out, just do a Google. Google it. I mean, you should be able to find the color, um, you know, probably in another. Because this is a fairly un new unit. Um, this is my first time seeing it. I think it just recently came out. So, um, again, like I said, if you can't find it in this color, just go do a Google search. Try to see if you can find it on another website somewhere else, okay? Um, so I will be leaving some links below for some of my favorite charities. Make sure you guys check that out in the description box, um, as well as I will be leaving a link below for, um, this particular unit. You can purchase it on Wix type. I hope that you guys are having an amazing start to the new year, 2016. This is going to be an amazing year for us guys. I'm super, super excited. So guys, I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Infinite love and gratitude.